dancing our way into this Thanksgiving day. Hope you guys are having a great one. We got the turkey in the oven and just feeling uh, grateful today. Yes, today we're out for a walk. We, well, one thing we're doing is uh, asking our friends and family uh, of a, one of their favorite, uh, or not favorite, just a fond memory they have of Thanksgiving. So, hey, what's one of your fond memories? One of my favorites was a Thanksgiving that really wasn't. Uh, it was the year my brother passed away, and I just wanted to get away that Thanksgiving. And so, on the spur of the moment, we took off on a little road trip and found a little cafe in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, and uh, they had a crusty little buffet, and just us and the kids, and it was just perfect in every way. A very fond memory. Yeah, one of my fond memories is uh, we'd go to my parents' house down to Paoli. We had kids, and just a about 10 years ago, we'd go down there, and they were they had a big log cabin, a big area, and we'd set up a, uh, we'd have a food there, and family, and everybody would show up, and then we'd set up a combat uh, shooting course, and we'd go shoot guns out there, and just have a really good time at my parents. It was pretty fun out in the world, and a lot of family and friends would all show up there. So we're gonna ask some other friends and family later today what their fond memories were, and hope you guys are having a great day. My favorite Thanksgiving memories were getting to go out to Grandma and Grandpa Pratt's out in their big log cabin no. and shooting the turtles in the pond. I think my favorites were when Grandma and Grandpa were alive and we got together with them. It was always fun. Just, foggy. Yeah, that was fun because they we always had a lot of food and they were so fun to be with, you know. Fondest memory, since I'm old, I can't remember way back when I was young, but it was at mom and dad's house when we were shooting guns. Well, the guys were. And we were all on the porch, a nervous wreck, because they were down there shooting and doing um, an obstacle course. But it was great. High school, uh, played on varsity football. My brothers played football. And every Thanksgiving since, we played and, and thrown a football around, so. Really? We were just, usually we help out around the house making help make the food and then we'd usually talk for a while about random stuff and then we'd go play again. One of the memories that I liked the most was whenever me and my grandma went to my great grandmother's house to pick pecans and we made a homemade pecan pie for Thanksgiving. When I was younger my mom and dad showed me how to deep fry a turkey and uh, watching all of that oil kind of bubble up that always, that stuck in my memory pretty well and then uh, first year with the kids bringing them over here for Thanksgiving that's uh, that sticks pretty firmly in my memory I I really enjoyed I think it was I don't know if it was last year or a couple years ago that we set up like the little target practice in the back yeah. of the the land and um, had the little target practice back there with the gun the BB guns and BB everything guns. and that was really fun yeah, it was. I think the kids enjoyed that yes. I enjoyed watching the kids <laughs> Hi, I'm Addie. I'm the neighbor and <laughs> my fond memory from Thanksgiving is whenever I was at my aunt and uncle's house in Fort Worth, Texas and he had, my uncle had chickens and we actually found a hawk in the chicken coop on Thanksgiving Day and it was injured um, which was really sad but the fond part of it was just seeing a hawk up close and um, yeah, spending that day with them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'd agree. That was a fun, fun day. Um, what else? I remember that day we went to like Petco, me and my cousin, to try and get stuff for this hawk to try and like re re rehabilitate yeah. him. And yeah, that was fun. I got to spend time with my cousin, and yeah, he <laughs> he stopped and got a pack of cigarettes and told me not to tell anybody. <laughs> And I was like, okay, this is great, this is fun. <laughs> like, I know something you guys don't. So. Yeah. yeah, that's And it. you're Genevieve. Yes, I'm Genevieve. Um, I'm Emery. Um, I'm also the neighbor. <laughs> um, a fun Thanksgiving memory would be like, just going to my grandparents' house. Like, I love spending like time with them and like sharing like memories. And it's just like, when I think of like Thanksgiving, I think of my grandparents because I love spending time with them and it's just fun. Yeah. All right, so one of my one of my fondest memories of Thanksgiving was uh, getting to uh, work with my dad on Thanksgiving Day. He he uh, uh, for I think almost 30 years put on a community Thanksgiving dinner in Cushing, and they fed usually four to five hundred people. 
and um, I spent many Thanksgivings there as a, a young kid and then a teenager and then in the years of subsequent would go back and help run and help do things really not run but just help volunteer and so for me um, Thanksgiving's a lot more than about just food um, but just it's really the fellowship with people and, um, and also just uh, being thankful for what we have and and um, taking care of people who are less fortunate and don't have as much as we have so that's my memory thank you okay so mine is more traumatic than fond when I was about 10 years old I went down with my stepdad and brothers we were gonna go get a turkey they said but it was a turkey shoot and the way they let the turkeys out and they just murdered them <laughs> right there so I was like um, no I'm never eating turkey again <laughs> Until today. Until today. Until today. So. Not a big fan. <laughs> um, well, okay. So when we were kids, we were living in Indiana, and uh, we were going to have Thanksgiving, and folks didn't have a lot of money, so they got a frozen chicken, and they just poured <laughs> barbecue sauce over it. <laughs> and they, so we had frozen chicken. Oh, it wasn't frozen. It was cooked, obviously. But then my mom served peas and carrots, frozen peas and, peas and carrots, and I put mine in the windowsill because they didn't want to eat them. <laughs> and uh, like about a year later, my mom, we were moving and my mom was cleaning the place up and they rolled out like BBs across the floor. They were all dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> she knew it was me because I sat by the window. <laughs> well, it's just kind of a weird Thanksgiving story where um, some reason we decided to have Thanksgiving at my house, lived over in Oklahoma City and uh, everybody was over. And of course the standard libations were consumed, but I'd had a headache and uh, and I took some pills that were in the cabinet that I thought were just uh, just Tylenol. It turned out that they were Tylenol PM. So the whole rest of the day is quite a blur for me. And uh, <laughs> apparently others told me that I made the day quite a blur for them as well. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't have anything to top that. Sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> I remember... You all came to our house for Thanksgiving, or you were at our house at Thanksgiving in Indiana, and I was cooking dinner and learned that the oven quit working on the stove. <laughs> we didn't know what we were going to do, but we contacted one of the neighbors who had a roaster, and we were able to borrow the roaster, cook the turkey, and have Thanksgiving dinner. Roz Dietrich here, <laughs> neighbor's uh, mother. Um, I have a kind of a group fond memory. Uh, for 35 years we did the Cushing Thanksgiving dinner for the Cushing community of Cushing. And this, we, the last one was in 2019 and the new one started up this weekend with other people doing it. But for my family to get together every year and come together and serve, cook and serve, and decorate the gym and stuff for all these people to come and enjoy a Thanksgiving. It just meant a whole lot to me. I really enjoyed that experience. Well, it would have to be probably over 35 years ago. Teresa and I used to not argue, but figure out whose house we're going to for Thanksgiving, her parents or my parents. And one year we just decided hey, let's have them over to our house for Thanksgiving. So we did it. And it was just my mom and dad, her mom and dad, brothers, and that, that was it, very small group. And then I started having cousins call me, hey, are you guys doing this like family Thanksgiving thing? I said, yeah, can we come? Well, yeah, sure, come on down. So they would come down. And then aunt and uncles would start calling, hey, can we come to your house for Thanksgiving? And then this is why we still lived in town, Chickasha. And then we moved out kind of in the country in a bigger house. And it was such a blast. You've been down there, James. And uh, I think the last one we did, we had over 65 people. I would fry five turkeys, Teresa would bake two hams, plus all the side dishes, and everyone brought stuff with them. So it was, uh, those were really fond and a lot of fun. A lot of work, but it was a lot of fun just having family get together. Uh, I've had cousins tell me, Marty, this is the only 
time that families, our family gets together anymore. And so it was, uh, it was an honor to have them all down here, and it was a lot of fun.